Hey everyone, Kieran here from Glitch Free Gaming. As we near the end of the year, I'm looking to do a handful of videos about games that aren't gonna make my game of the year lists. Some of which, like this one, because they didn't come out this year, but got some kind of like big update or something. But other ones, just ones that didn't quite make the cut, but I feel are good enough that should get some kind of spotlight on them. I'm not sure how many of these I'm gonna do, but this one I definitely felt very strongly that I needed to do. Because this one sold me on VR as a whole. Um, you already know what it is because you've clicked into the video now. Go talk about No Man's Sky's VR update that they did earlier this year. Part of the next update I think it was. I forget. The, the names for the No Man's Sky updates are... I always forget them. But... There's not a massive amount to say here, like, I liked No Man's Sky at launch. I was not in the pink, you know, the big group of people hating on it because of, you know, promises that they thought had been made about certain things. That game came out, I was exactly what I expected it to be <laughs> from what they had shown and talked about, and then I fell off it after a while. I played it for a bunch of hours, I enjoyed it, it got a bit repetitive, I fell off it. As they've updated stuff, I never really went back to it that much. Like, I would jump in, try it out a little bit, play a little bit, not get super into it again. But I still enjoyed it. Like, No Man's Sky has a, a place in my heart for being this weird, cool, ambitious thing that didn't quite make it in a lot of ways, but was really fun. And the thing that got me back into it was that this year they released their VR mode for it. Plus a bunch of other big update update stuff, but I don't really, I don't really know what was part of this update and what was part of the previous ones, just because I didn't really play the previous ones. And so, for me, I had only just got a PSVR headset a little bit before it came out. It was part of the reason I got it. Um, the other one was that I just really gave up and wanted to play super hot VR. So the moment. VR headsets went on sale, I was like, I will have one of those, I will play Super Hot, please. Which was, if you've not played Super Hot VR, just go play it. It's so good. Um, so I jumped into No Man's Sky in VR and was instantly like, oh, this is why people like VR. I've never been super into VR. I, I like it, it's okay. For me, it's like a kind of okay gimmick, and most of the games that use it are not the most interesting thing in the world. Like, there's not Nothing has really lived up to the claims that people that love VR make for me, personally. I get that those people love VR for those things, but for me, it's always just games that I'm sitting there like, I would rather play this not in VR. Nothing about this makes me want to play it in VR, either because of controls or because of, um, you know, the way things look, or mostly controls, I'll be honest. Um, for me, movement is one of those things that I'm just like, I hate... I hate teleporting around, which is weird because No Man's Sky does this. I hate teleporting around and then having the actual just movement movement uh, usually makes me motion sick. So there's like no good movement options for VR for me, which is unfortunate. There was recently a Doctor Who game that came out on VR and I've been playing through a bit of that and might do a video on it. I, it's, it's okay. Um, but it's nice in that it has the option between the two, so one of them, one of the uh, motion controllers will move you, you know, physically. Uh, physically is the wrong one. It makes you walk. And the other one will teleport. And it's interesting to be able to compare the two of those side by side and realise that I dislike both. Um, but back to No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky makes me understand why people like VR. Being able to explore these kind of big elaborate worlds, these like, you know, alien planets, these structures that other people have built, these, you know, crazy things that you're exploring and mining and all that stuff in VR just clicks with me. It just it just works. It's it's not going to look like much in this video <laughs> because it's VR. So VR never really records well. 
It's PlayStation VR in particular, which is much lower resolution than other stuff. I think the VR mode is also on PC. I don't have a PC VR headset, so I don't really have anything from that, I'm afraid. Um, but that's maybe the one point of this where it doesn't... It's not the nicest looking. It's pretty low resolution. Everything looks kind of blurry. But you, you adjust to it pretty quickly. At least I did. I adjusted to it pretty quickly, and the... The overwhelming like sense of place of being you know surrounded by all this stuff and being able to interact with it and stuff that felt more uh, that felt more like the thing that clicked with me and kind of made helped me ignore the shortcomings of it in terms of like graphics and stuff like that um, which is silly because I feel like that is it's it's hard to explain how you can get that sense of place when the place looks like a PS1 game at times, um, but I, I really enjoyed it. At its core, No Man's Sky VR is just No Man's Sky. They didn't massively change anything. You are exploring planets, you're mining things, you're building things, you're scanning a ton of things. You're doing a little bit of shooting, but not much, because that's not really the point of No Man's Sky. Um, they map stuff to your controls really well. They made it just feel really natural to do most of the stuff. The flight controls are a little bit iffy. They did this fake HOTAS kind of thing where you have like a flight stick and a throttle, but you're just using the motion controllers to interact with them. It's it's fine. <laughs> it's maybe not what I would have went with, but it works well enough and you get used to it pretty quickly. They've added like full blown story modes and stuff like that in the recent patches for No Man's Sky, so if that's your thing, you can do that. I kind of like just building a little base and then going out and exploring and then occasionally coming back and upgrading some stuff. That's how I play No Man's Sky. And doing that in VR was definitely a great way to play it. Like the flight looks great, it's really interesting. Like, it's, there's something. I think there were some things in No Man's Sky that I found kind of tedious to do and just didn't do. So things like uh, flying through asteroid belts and blowing up asteroids. As it turns out, really great way to make money early on in that game because you can get a bunch of platinum and sell it I never did that because it was really boring. I did it in VR because it just looked cool. <laughs> it just looked cool and felt cool to be doing in VR. Uh, which isn't a good reason, there's no reason why changing perspective that way would make something more interesting, but it does, uh, for me at least. So I really just wanted to make this short little video to kind of talk about one of my favourite things from this year, which was playing No Man's Sky in VR. It's not going to be for everyone, I don't think I'd recommend going out and getting a VR headset for it, but I mean if you're interested in it and you already like No Man's Sky, maybe do, like it is. It is probably in my top three for VR games that I've played. But it's up there with Astro Bot and Super Hot for me in terms of like these are the games that use VR in really cool ways. So yeah, that's it for now. Like, subscribe, etc etc. If there's anything that you played this year that you <laughs> this is a weird one to say. If there's anything you played this year you suspect we might miss in our end of year deliberations, which, if you've listened to our podcasts, is maybe easy enough to guess. If you've not, might not be. But, you know, something you like this year and you want us to look at, leave it in the comments below. I don't promise we'll look at everything, but there's a chance that even if we look at something and it doesn't make our Game of the Year list, I'll do one of these kind of videos on it, explaining why it's interesting. So yeah, see you next time.